Good morning from beautiful Ubud, Bali. Today I'm going to take you along for a day in the life and show you what it's really like to live here in Ubud. Alright, so we have been living in Bali for about a month now, so we've established somewhat of a routine here. All my siblings go to Palangi School, which is an international school here. I still do online school, so I either do it here at home or at a club right next to their school, which is called Titi Batu, and I'll show you that later. So I just went in the room, and it turns out we have a little visitor today. So before we start the day, I just wanted to give you a little house tour and talk about some things to know about living in Ubud. We rented this villa for a month for about 1400 US dollars. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a living area, and a pool. One thing you should know about Ubud is that it's not very walkable because most roads don't have sidewalks. Even the one kilometer stretch of road from our house to the center of town was very dangerous to walk along and you'll either need a car or a motorbike to get around. If you're planning to stay in Bali for more than a few days, the first thing you should do is buy a local SIM card and data plan. This way you'll be able to call, text, get directions, and use the internet without Wi-Fi. As for food options, there are plenty of restaurants in Ubud serving all types of food. I will say that most restaurants in Ubud are catered to tourists and therefore more expensive, but you can definitely find local places as well if you look for them. Overall, Ubud is a great place to base yourself to explore Bali, being very centrally located, home to the sacred monkey forest, and only 20 minutes away from the Tagalalong rice terraces. And now, let's head to Titi Batu for some school. But first, let's go get some breakfast. So we actually do have a car here in Bali, right here. But if you've ever been to Bali, you'll know that driving here is crazy with the narrow roads, motorbikes, traffic, and driving on the left side of the road. If you don't have a car or a motorbike, one of the best ways to get around is either taking a Grab or Gojek. Grab and Gojek are kind of like Uber and Lyft in the US. You can get food delivered and get rides to anywhere for pretty cheap. So today I'll be doing one of my favorite things, which is taking a Grab motorbike. Basically, you book the Grab motorbike on your phone. They give you a helmet, you get on the back of their motorbike, and then once you arrive, you can pay them in cash, or you can link your card to the Grab app and you can pay like that. We have arrived at one of my favorite breakfast spots here in Ubud. This place is called Bali Pesto and it's actually right next to Titi Batu, but the food is a lot cheaper and it's really good. I ordered the poached eggs and a fresh orange juice for 65,000 rupiah. So Titi Batu is basically like a fitness and pool club but it also has a restaurant, a playground, basketball court, skate park, and just lots of other things. There's also a pretty large seating area with Wi-Fi, so I usually do school here during the day while the kids are at school across the street. Now it's time to start the school day. But the best part about doing school at Titi Batu is whenever you want, you can just go for a swim. It is about 5.30 p.m. now and we have arrived at the Kampuhan Ridgewalk Trail just in time for sunset. This is a really short and easy hike right near Ubud and it's a great way to spend the evening after a long day of staring at your computer. Now we're eating dinner at one of my favorite restaurants in Ubud. This place is called Nagi Kitchen and it's mostly a sushi restaurant but they also have 
other Japanese food like ramen or udon, and the prices are actually pretty reasonable. I got the sushi combo box for 65k, which comes with miso soup, ocha, four pieces of California roll, and two other choices of sushi. I hope you enjoyed this short day in the life video of what it's like to live in Ubud, and I'll see you next time to show you my top 10 places to visit in all of Bali.